trans women who are truly trans, who at a very young age, you know, started proper medical treatment, they've grown up as girls, of course they should be able to compete in girls' sports. But, yeah, some guy who hasn't done any therapy, hasn't done anything, there has to be a review board. I would be the first governor to put together a review board to review each case. California gubernatorial candidate Caitlyn Jenner sounding off on transgender athletes in high school sports right there yesterday. Our next guest is one of several student athletes in the state of Connecticut who are suing to prevent biologically born males from competing in girls sports. She writes about her experience in a new op-ed in USA Today calling it an unfair fight. The athlete is Chelsea Mitchell. She joins us right now along with Alliance Defending Freedom legal counsel Christiana Holcomb. Ladies, good morning to both of you. Good morning. So Chelsea, you wrote this thing in USA Today and uh, the headline says it all. It says, I was the fastest girl in Connecticut but transgender athletes made it an unfair fight because you feel that it is not fair for you, somebody who was born biologically a female, to be competing against transgender athletes who were born boys, right? Yeah, I mean, we've seen the biological distinction between males and females, so um, naturally we want to protect the biological female category so that females can have the same opportunities that males do. So Chelsea, how many times did a transgender athlete, somebody who was born male, beat you in some of the biggest races in Connecticut? They beat me almost every race. Um, I personally lost four state championships, um, two new, all new England awards, and countless other opportunities to advance and place in medal um, just because there was a biological male in my race. Okay, and that is why you joined this original lawsuit. But Christiana, the lawsuit was just thrown out by the judge. Uh, on what grounds? Look, the court got it wrong. The court essentially told Chelsea and the other female athletes that their accomplishments mean nothing. And 14 months after we filed the federal lawsuit, the court still dodged the real issue in this case, which is the fundamental unfairness of forcing girls like Chelsea to compete against biological males because there are those real physical differences between the sexes that give males an athletic advantage over girls. Right. And Christiana, the judge said, uh, I'm throwing this out because the two transgender athletes that uh, were involved in this lawsuit, they graduated. So case closed, the judge said. However, that's not the uh, case closed because you're reopening it. You're pressing on with your legal case, right? That's exactly right. Look, Chelsea and the other female athletes all have records that need to be fixed. And let's keep in mind, the bad policy is still on the books. And last time around, a biological male athlete competed on the boys team for three seasons, turned around and just two weeks later started to compete in the girls seat in the girls category and dominated. So this can come up very quickly. We need to get this policy fixed. So and Chelsea, that's one of the reasons you wrote the op ed for USA Today. But what's interesting, after it ran, then uh, apparently they got some backlash and they said, oh, we got to change something. There was an editor's note that said this column has been updated to reflect USA Today's standards and style guidelines. We regret that hurtful language was used. And the hurtful language is uh, you refer to them as male runners, right? Yeah, um, there's a clear distinction between biological women and biological males. And when talking about this case, we want to be as clear as possible that this is simply about biology. So that's why we use biological terms when talking about it. So for them to change it is really frustrating just because without that, our case kind of just goes out the window. Sure. I'm looking at the news this morning. A recent Gallup poll shows that 62 percent of Americans believe that transgender athletes should only compete on sports teams of the sex they were assigned at birth. And Chelsea and Christiana, for both of you, and this will be toward uh, Chelsea. Chelsea, it's all about fairness. You just want a fair race. Yeah, that's exactly it. We literally just want to compete in our sports fairly. Because Christiana? It's not fair the way it is. 
No, it certainly is not. Biological males have a 10 to 50% performance advantage over comparably fit and trained female athletes. So if we want a future where girls like Chelsea can continue to be on the podium, earn those championship titles, those scholarship opportunities, then we have to protect the integrity of women's sports. All right, let's see where this lawsuit goes. Christiana and Chelsea, thank you very much for joining us live. Thank you. Thank you. All right.